Look at Ben in this street. We are here on the smaller streets, so that's quite impressive. <laughs> he just went from one wall to the other. Wait. Waiting nothing, I'm gonna eat it. What'd you get, baby? I got the big Kurtos Kolax. I got my professional driver here, I mean the Uber driver or a taxi driver. Do you get anything for this ride? No. So you are doing just that, uh, you enjoying the ride? Yeah, it's a beautiful trip. You, you know, just drive around Romania. The roads are beautiful, the scenery is beautiful. castle it's a pretty huge castle we're gonna go inside to see it but look at the view around it it's so pretty then it's putting the drone up so hopefully you can see some pretty views from the drone Rupa Fortress, the Tata Rupa, is a medieval fortress built by Transylvanian Saxon and first mentioned by a 1324 document. It's so each month, 10,000 tourists are visiting this. Fortress. And Rupa Fortress is situated on the 120 meter high basalt cliff to the west of Transylvania town of Rupa in Romania. The fortress is located on DN 13, 70 kilometers from Brasov on the road to Sigishoara. All right, guys, we made our next stop, Cetata Rupia, which is Ru Rupe. Rupe. Uh, <laughs> it's a Ru Rupe fortress. fortress. It was the outermost wall was originally constructed in 1324. 24. And then there's two inner walls that were subsequently built in later years. And it was restored in 2008 to 2010? 2010 to 2013. What she said, she always remembers the numbers better than me. It's a beautiful fortress. Let's go check it out together. All right, we just walked in Rupia. Is it Rupia? Rupia. Rupi. Rupia. Rupia. Cetate, Cetate Rupia. Fortress. It's really nice inside. There's an outer courtyard here. Oop, if I don't trip. And, and that guy over there, he's making pottery. Oh, yeah. A guy making pottery for sale. Some trees inside. Yeah, I think we're going to go walk and check out the second wall here, which was built later and then there's an inner third wall going in to check out what they call the scouts tower it was built in the 15th century oh wow well there's even a second staircase you can go up here and it was rebuilt in the 1700s Sort of interest, you know, the second story here, the only window actually looks inward, not outward. You can see this second inner wall and the third inner wall. And the first inner wall and the second inner wall. Either way. It's a pretty view from uh, inside this. I think most of the roofs castle. were part of the 2010, 2013 restoration. We're going into the basement of the Scouts Tower. There's more defensive islets here, which are sort of cool. They have these little, I can't reach it, but those little pieces of wood open and close. 
either so you can shoot your arrows out or your muskets. It's dark and creepy in here. A cute door. Made I saw they wood. have like a cute little pattern on the door here. They have patterns. And the next building here is the chapel building, and it was probably originally a defensive fortification. But then in the mid 16th century to somewhere in the mid 17th century, it was changed into the chapel. Wow, and there's either a lot of graffiti on the walls in here, which is unfortunate. I don't think a lot of it is very old. Although some of the graffiti looks like it's pretty old. Yeah, 1935, I guess, on some of it. Watch out for the sub. Pretty neat. Looks like some of the original brick work over here, stone work. And this just leads to a window now, which maybe originally it was something different. All right. These buildings are dark and a bit creepy. And there's the new roof. Yeah. Oh, hey, how about? Nope, light switches don't work either. <laughs> All right, going back down. It's sort of cool. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the placard up there reads 1324, which was the year the outermost wall was built. And 1658 is, I think, the year that they started building this inner wall here. So the area we entered was over here. This was the middle courtyard and now we're going into the powder, powder. inner courtyard. And this was known as the powder tower where they kept the black powder for their muskets. Pretty cool. You can see some of the bedrock, some of the basalt bedrock. So there's a bunch of rooms here to explore. Most of them don't have much in them, except for being dark, creepy, cold fortress rooms. Really cool staircase between the bedrock and the fortress walls. just built right around the bedrock. All right, I'm in the uppermost building here at the fortress, the top of the fortress, if you would. Really cool views from the windows of the fortress below. You can see that there's been extensive work that was done in 2010. I wonder how this fortress looked before they completed the last restoration on it. I guess this section right here is part of the original wall. In order to build this castle, it took them 300 years. So can you imagine of constantly building and upgrading it, starting yes. in the 13th century all yes. the way to the 16th century, longer than America's been a country. And they would use it in case any of the surrounding villages were attacked. All the villagers would come to the fortress here for protection. There's about 100 permanent residents inside the fortress in the 16th and 17th centuries. Ben is 
is of course on top of the rocks I don't know how he make it there but he's got a very pretty view here is the Romanian flags and Ben and Alex coming down all right, we just finished up our time in Rupia Castle, or Rupia Fortress. Absolutely a great stop on our road trip. 15 May to go see it. And now we are continue driving on to Broshov. 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 And you have to buy souvenirs. <laughs> and there, there was actually a potter in there making pots by hand, and they were really reasonably priced. So. And I record him. Get a souvenir here. It's quite interesting. Could Cât a durat să înveți să faci așa? Patru ani. Look what I bought made by him. Thank you. And with my souvenir I got, we are going out of Cetatea Rupea. Wait. With nothing, I'm gonna eat it. What'd you get, baby? I got a big Kurtos Colax. Like this big, like me. <laughs> yeah, what does it taste like? I don't know, I didn't try it yet because you put the camera on my face. When you take the camera out it? of it's my like face, a, I'm gonna eat it. Like bread cooked over charcoal yeah, and it's, and it's so like hot. Sweet. And that, that one was hot and fresh, so she had to get one. That is Romanian road trip junk food at its finest. Yes. If you're gonna get fat, that's what you do. You just follow me on the YouTube and you see all the cool places I'm going to buy all the junks I can eat. Alex's room. Now my room is number three in this good little uh, hotel. Here it is. This is the bathroom. This is the bed. I have room three and five. And I'm waiting for the for Ben to come bring us the suitcase because problems with the parkings are real so we're taking a stroll in downtown by the hotel that's where we're gonna go tomorrow with the telecabina and show and now we're going to see the smallest street here it is Strada Sapori the smallest street there is in Romania hallway with graffiti or a back alley than a street but they call it a street so I guess it is in the states we call this an alley look at Ben in this street we are here on the smallest streets so that's for impression <laughs> and he just went from one wall to the other did you have fun sure all right, we just checked into our hotel in Broshoff, and now we're gonna go for a little walk of downtown before it gets dark out. You might see right over my head here is the Broshoff sign, which looks sort of like the Hollywood sign. Let's we're go in Hollywood Broshoff. <laughs> Let's go check out downtown Broshoff. We're in the main square here in 
Roshung. Keep being told I'm saying it wrong, but like almost all words, I pronounce them wrong in foreign languages. Sorry guys. A lot of restaurants here, tourist shops, gift shops, clothing stores. Black Church, for Starbucks, bank, restaurant, supermarket. This is the square. All right, this is a side view of the Black Church. And like a lot of things, it's having a little restoration done on it right now. All right, here we go into the Black Church. This is the inside of the Black Church. It's a beautiful cathedral. The ceilings have to be 30 feet, 40 feet high. So the black church dates back as far as 1336. It's had many, many a very long historic history that they have on display here for you. All the way throughout time, all the different periods. Really amazing everything that this building has been through. Some of the original carved tablets here. The museum room, the history of the Black Church. These pieces on the walls were originally tombstones, if you would, of people who were buried in the church. The practice that ended uh, for hiding lessons, quite frankly, having people buried inside the church. And the most beautiful of these gravestones were brought both to the west and the east fork, and they're on display here. And this one is from 1669, I guess. So for dinner tonight in Broshoff, we did street food. We got a Nutella banana crepe, a sour cherry crepe. Sour cherry crepe, yes. And a extra large order of french fries. And the... With the hot boiled, boiled wine. wine. I think it's really good. Chris thinks it has too much cinnamon and not sweet enough. But the fries they make here are absolutely delicious. All right, guys, that's the end of our night. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you uh, we'll, didn't subscribe if you yet, haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and you got now. this far through the video, please subscribe to catch our next video, day nine. We're going to check out Broshoff and then drive to Bucharest. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bye. -bye.